back up and rolling. Um, I hit the trail around 7.30, um, a little later than what I wanted to, but I didn't want to get up at like five or six and make a lot of noise for the other people at camp. So um, back on the trail, I am out of water. Well, I have like a sip left that I'm saving. Um, I had water this morning, I had coffee and stuff. So, um, but uh, there's water up here. And uh, I got about 11-ish miles to go today. my new hammock last night the um, uh, red tail from hemlock out hemlock outdoors um, it's a company in Pennsylvania I tell you I slept very very comfortable in that it's a 70 D ripstop nylon so for me it has a 300 pound weight limit so for me there's like no stretch which really had a good lay this may be my uh, my go-to hammock I may be kicking my dream hammock to the curb and using this um, it's only about, I think, three ounces heavier total, and I think I can probably make that lighter, um, but uh, got to keep moving. I just got spit out to Thompson Hollow Road, um, and I was able to see a good clear view of the sky. It was cloudy, um, but there are some gray clouds coming. I don't know if that's just fog burning off, flying over, because um, I, when I was up at elevation, you could look down and see the fog, and I'm, of course, down now in. Um, but I'm hoping that's not rain, because it's kind of chilly out. <laughs> Keep on moving. the trucks it's right over there they're doing some logging and trees are falling left and right over there I'm hoping I don't have to walk through it seems the farther I get to the northern terminus, the uh, more the leaves have changed. So, yeah, the second day here is turning out to be very beautiful with the leaf change. I just hit I'm roughly about three miles left to go for the trip um, so I'm about like 27 or three miles to the end and we just hit the area where it's famous for the Grand PA Grand Canyon where all the views are and I don't know if you can see it but I just passed where it was marked like four views but I think over the years at least since my map my map was made back in 2019 it's, it's getting a lot very overgrown in the early spring or after the leaves are gone. Anytime when the leaves are gone, you can see. But um, 
Uh, there's, they'll open up here soon. You'll be able to see a lot of really nice ones here in a minute. Right, made it back to the trailhead. It's about quarter after one, I believe. Not well, one o'clock, so I made it in really good time. Um, 12 miles today. Um, very beautiful hike. I wish the leaves would have been turned a little bit more, but they but they weren't. So, but my next trip should be good. So yeah, this is a really nice trail to do. Fall is a really great time to do it. I'm glad I did it in the fall. The only thing left for me to do for this trail is in the winter time. Um, but with that, I'm going to leave it. I'm going to go find a burger and I'm gonna head home. So with that, as always, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.